Hey guys, so today's video is going to be me showing you how to turn black hair into gray silver hair. So my model here has level 1, 2 black hair. Please excuse any water droplets you see on his hair. He literally ran from the rain into my shop. So today we'll be working on his hair. So after you're done assessing your customer's hair or whoever's hair you're going to be doing to go ahead and mix up your bleach. That is step one. So mix up your lightener, aka bleach, a two to one ratio. So that means one part bleach, two parts developer. Today I'm using the Swatchkoff Blonde Me brand and they are awesome. I love their bleach and it already has a protective agent in it. So I'm not gonna be adding anything like Olaplex or anything like that into my lightener. So after you are done mixing your bleach, you're going to want to apply it to the long hair first and only apply it from the mid shaft to the ends, leaving about a one inch to a half inch away from the scalp because that hair is not keratinized yet, meaning that if you go ahead and put bleach on that part, it will lighten way faster than everything else and you will get hot roots and we don't want hot roots. So after you're done applying it from the mid shaft to the ends all throughout the long hair, you are going to wait until the hair hits a level six before you go ahead and apply it to the rest of their hair and their new growth. So as you can see here, I'm just showing you that I left out that new growth area. And after you hit that level six, like I said, you are going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of the hair. So including the sides as well. So let's go ahead and recap here. So now that we have it to a nice level six, we are going to apply it to the new growth, like I've said before, to the new growth and to the rest of the hair. And after you're done applying it to the rest of the hair, you are going to want to incubate it in a plastic cap. And you will see in a moment that after I put his plastic cap on, I also put a piece of foil on his sideburns just to make sure that I get that incubated as well. So right now it looks like I am putting him under heat, but I am not. This is just the waiting area where we have people sit and wait for their hair to process while I do another customer in the meantime. But I can ensure you the dryer is not on at all. I never process my bleaches with heat ever. So once we get to the desired level that we want, we are going to go ahead and rinse him out. So I'm going to wash and deep condition his hair and then I'm going to blow dry him and then go ahead and apply my toner. So as you can see here, his hair is a level eight, level nine. So it is a level nine on the sides because that hair is closer to his scalp, meaning that it gets more heat so that it can be lighter than everything else. But that is perfectly okay because the color that we are going for is a level seven, six gray and we lightened him to a 8-9. So whenever I am depositing color, I always like to make sure that the level is at least a shade or two lighter so that I get a true deposit of color. Because if you wanna do a level eight color and you only lift it to a level eight, you are not gonna get a true deposit. You will just have the color neutralized and you won't get the full effect of the color. So it's important to always lift a shade or two lighter before you apply the desired shade that you want. So I know most of you that are watching this video are not professionals, so I am going to mention a bunch of colors that you can find at Sally's for you guys to get the same results. So the first color that I recommend is this one from Arctic Fox. And for all of these brands that I mentioned, I want you guys to personally read every direction because each brand has different directions. So the next one is Wella 050. And the next one is from the brand One and Only, and it is in the shade Chrome. 
and this next one is also from the same brand and this is a 8 ash I only recommend using this one if you bring the hair up to like a level 10 then you can go ahead and use this 8a and the next brand is the ion color in the color storm and this is the same brand but in the color slate so after you guys follow all of these steps and choose the deposit color of your choice your results should look something like this so this is outdoor lighting as you can see and it came out awesome he loved it and i hope you guys found this video informative thank you so much for watching bye